I've been saying it for forever. Basically, I want to just talk about me really, really wanting to color my hair. <laughs> and next thing I want to do coming up is to color my hair. Now, so I know in my last update, I had said I was planning to straighten my hair and to also color my hair. And clearly, I haven't done that as yet. However, this could all go just fine. No problems. No regrets. Or this could go terribly wrong. Either way, it's getting done today. Since I'm going to do it to my own head, I'm going to mad at it. Let's get on with it. <laughs> so I saw this picture. And I saw this picture. And I'm going to do a mashup of the two images. So what I want to do is to have some random streaks or highlights in my hair and also my entire head being one color as well. Am I making sense? I hope so. So the color I have concocted today is a mixture of Raging Red, Rich Eggplant and Burnish Gold. So I mix all three colors and uh, yeah, I'm hoping for a purplish reddish um, burgundy kind of color. Now, why didn't I just buy a bottle of burgundy dye, you ask? I don't know. But whatever color it produces today, we're gonna make it work. So for my random streaks, I have separated some twists throughout my head. And those are the pieces I am going to be bleaching. So to mix your bleaching solution, it's very simple. All you really need are two ingredients. Your developer and your basic white powder, which is basically your bleach in powder form. I have my bleaching powder in two little bags because I bought it at a wholesale. And uh, yeah, this is how they packaged it out for me. But this is how the regular package look. It's Clairol Basic White. So first I like to put my powder in my plastic bowl and then add my developer. You already know, Viviana had to make a mess. Just ignore that. And after I've dumped my powder in my bowl, I am now going to add my developer. I'm using a volume 40 developer. However, I would strongly recommend using a volume 20 developer. It's a lot less concentrated and will process the hair a lot slower than the volume 40. But volume 40 was the only one I saw in the store and I know this little trick where I can add conditioner to my volume 40 developer and dilute the mixture. It's basic chemistry guys, trust me, nothing bad happened. I'm only just reducing the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide by adding a moisturizing conditioner to the mixture. Also note that I'm not using any metal in this mixing process, only plastic and that wooden stick. And I just stir that around until I get a nice creamy yogurt texture and we're ready to apply it. All right, let's do the first one. Let's undo the twist so that it can get on every single strand. And I'm just taking out the bleach and I'm applying it to the hair. Yes, you could use one of those color brushes to have this looking neater and more professional, but we ain't trying to fake no professional hair. My fingers are protected with my gloves, so I just dip right in there. I'm not carrying it too close to my roots because I don't want my roots to be way lighter than the rest of my hair. And that happens because the heat from your scalp helps to process the color closest to your roots a lot faster. And in this case, the foil is just preventing the bleach from catching the rest of my hair that I do not want bleached. So based on how the color is so far, I am going to allow it to sit for another 10 minutes. 
10 or 15 minutes, but I will be watching it, okay? Then afterwards, I'm going to shampoo my hair twice with my neutralizing shampoo and then I will come back to you guys and show you how my hair is looking. Hopefully I won't be bald. I think I have it at the right shade of golden now. All right, I'm going to wash it out now. Can you see it? I just jump out of the shower and just drag on back the t-shirt I had on before. No conditioner in it or anything. I just shampooed my hair three times. <laughs> so this is the part I bleached. And these are still my virgin strands. And I am kind of really, really loving this blonde look right now. But the original plan was for a burgundy reddish purplish color so i'm going to proceed with the plan so i've applied my mixture of color into this one bottle and also switched out the cap so that i can easily apply the color onto my hair <sighs> i hope this concoction gives me a nice color mm. The dye was dripping all over me, so I had to add the processing cap over it from now. So, oh my god, and it's still dripping. Oh my lord. Oh my god, this is so messy. Now I'm going to add my really big shower cap onto my head. <sighs> so now that I look like I was in a terrible accident or I just came out of surgery, I am going to go wash off my face, my body, clean up this mess I have made in my bathroom and yeah. I really don't have an idea of exactly how long I'm going to leave the color onto my hair to process. But the idea I have is that I'm going to allow the color to process under my dryer for about two hours and after that I am going to add my deep conditioner onto my hair without rinsing out the color. So I'm just going to add the deep conditioner directly on top of the color and allow that to deep condition for the rest of the night. So yeah, that's the plan. I will update you guys in the morning. Damn, I should have greased my entire face with petroleum jelly. Oh well. Now I'm going to wrap my hair up in Saran Wrap since I'm going to leave this overnight to deep condition and finish processing. Alright, now I am hoping that this dye can come off with my clarifying shampoo and hopefully get all this dye off my skin. Ugh. Do not make this mistake. Grease up people, grease up. Okay, 
so it's a lot darker than I would have necessarily liked but ooh, see there okay so it's the color coming through I mean the process was pretty easy enough it was just really messy but I was just playing it safe and I didn't want to leave the bleach on my hair too too long but I definitely could have gone lighter with the highlights. I mean, in the future, I can lighten it a little bit. No big deal. All I'm say is that my glad may never damage my hair. But you know what? Let me wait until my hair is completely dried and I have styled my hair before I completely judge the color. Yeah. Because it might turn out a little different when it dried, right? Possibly. <laughs> If you haven't seen this styling tutorial, I'll be sure to leave it up in the iCards. But when it comes to the color, I still think I want to change the color just a little bit. Maybe have it a little more golden. I don't know, but I plan to change the color. Okay, beauties, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to check out the iCards where I'll have some more videos for you to watch and get familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love, you're welcome to subscribe. Okay, beauties, thanks again for watching. Later. Mwah. I'll be showing you how to do four really easy hairstyles for this summer. And for each of my hairstyles, I've added a nice little accessory just to jazz up the look a little bit. And so the aim of today is just to go through and trim about half an inch of hair so as to remove the single strand knots while still maintaining the shape of my hair. <laughs> 